Okay, if you've watched my other videos, and I hope you have, this video obviously already looks very different from all of them, and that's because we are kicking off a multi-part series where I'm going to model a Sauber Mercedes C9 Group C race car. Um, I love these Group C cars, and they're a blast to model. They look so cool. And uh, so, yeah, I just... I, when you do a project like this, you have to find something that you're excited about. It could be anything. And so for me, I love these old Group C cars. And part of what's fun about projects like this is actually is doing the research, is like finding all the materials. And I find it's really helpful to get a plastic model kit. It can be really helpful just to visualize all the surfacing and to get a sense of the details that matter and the details that don't. And also, with these kits, you get a nice bit of documentation, not just instructions, right? But we've got drawings here. Uh, so you can use these drawings as a basis for tracing or get stuff from the internet. Um, there, there's a million drawings for this car on the internet. You can, you can get source wherever you want. And really, the point of this series isn't necessarily for you to model this car. It's to show you the process and to explain uh, the thought process. And so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this whole series a little bit differently from the way that other people do it. You know, there's a lot of tutorials out there where they just sort of, they say, well, I clicked here, 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 and here, and then it was perfect. And that's not my intention with this. I want to show the back and forth, the revisions, the, you know, you make a surface and then you realize down the road, hey, that's actually, mm, that's not quite right. Uh, so let's go back and revise that. And how do we set up our models so that we can do that iterative surfacing you know how do we make it easier for ourselves to do that and, and so I'm really going to focus on not doing things perfectly because I, I don't think that's achievable you know when I when I do something like this I might and I can tell you because I've already done it I might model the top of this three or four different ways till I find the way that I like to do it and that makes that, that fits for me right so the the point is really the process, it's not really the model, it's the process. Um, but just looking at the, the, the exterior body shell here, you know, what's so cool about these is you end up with a really cool looking model, but much of the surfacing is really very accessible, quite straightforward. And it's all everything that we've covered on this channel before, right? We've got this perfectly flat deck. Well, that's just going to be an extrusion that we trim. We've got these slab sides with wheel arches that are cut into them. Those are just trim objects, right? Um, looking in top view here, you can see it actually it tapers in a little bit. Okay, we want to capture that. Uh, and then, you know, the front, you can, you know, I think of the front as, as almost like if none of this stuff was here, you'd have the surface that would come straight across here, right? And then when you look at it that way, you've got a side here and a side here and a top and it comes around here as a corner. Well, that tells me this entire thing here, this is just a ball corner. We, you know, it's just a goofy stretched out ball corner, but that's all it is. It's exactly like the ball corners that we built in the past, right? And then, you know, looking at say this surface here, well, we've got a blend up here and we've got a blend down here, and they meet right here. Well, that's a Y blend. We know how to do a Y blend. We've covered those. And there's, you know, there's a blend here and a blend here, and it goes around the corner here. Well, we're going to have a little ball corner right here, a little tiny one. In fact, we're going to have ball corners on all sorts of these corners back here. So everything in this model, these are very straightforward, and and, and so this is really about the process of making it, right? This is about how we go through the iterations and the revisions and the refinement and, 
And those moments along the way where we go, oh, you know, oh, that's how it is. And so we're going to let the the surfaces sort of tell us where they want to be. And 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 for me, having a model like this is is really invaluable. I'll probably at some point in this series, I'll probably build it up. But the other place, of course, where we can turn for wonderful content is the internet. So after doing some Google sleuthing, uh, and I regret to inform you if you if you wish to purchase this card, it's already been sold. <laughs> so <laughs> I found this awesome auction site. Uh, Duncan Hamilton, and uh, they had this car listed. It's it's sold now, um, but they had amazing photographs on their site for this car. And for me, you know, it's always interesting. The you got a plastic model, you find some some three view drawings on the internet, and then you look at pictures, and you're gonna immediately start seeing differences. Uh, so for me, the really the pictures more than anything else uh, are going to be the driver. You know, I'm I'm going to defer to the pictures, uh, and so I'll leave a link for this if you want to just peruse the site too. They have amazing cars on this site for sale and sold. The photography is amazing. You know, if you want to do something similar, a similar project, man, I'd encourage you to go through this site and find another project on here and track down, you know, track down a model kit and track down a three view and use the photograph, the photographs. And man, it's just, oh, this stuff is just amazing. Amazing. So I'm going to be referring back a lot during this series to these photographs to help guide the shape of this thing, because I don't, I don't take my original curves as gospel truth. I don't take that three view as gospel truth. I don't, I don't really take that plastic model as gospel truth. Really, we're trying to capture the look and feel of this, right? And so to find a really good trove of photographs is always very, very helpful in any project. And so it's great to find this particular website with all of these just wonderful pictures. There is just, man, it just makes you want to model the whole thing, right? So... Uh, like I said, I'll put the link for this site too. Um, I would just encourage you to go crazy on here. You know, if you want to, if you want to find a, a subject for yourself. Oh, let's see here. Of course, the internet's going slow now. Wait, there we go. Yeah. So there's a bunch of cars on here that would make very similar projects. That would also be totally excellent. Uh, this MG Metro totally caught my eye. I'm like, oh, I want to do that next, right? There's so many cool boxy cars. And so, you know, if you're just starting out, a lot of these really 80s cars that are so boxy, these are great subjects. These are really, really great starter subjects. And so I'd, I'd encourage you to, to find your own car that you want to stare at for 100 to 200 hours. Because, you know, really, I, I might end up sinking that much time into this project. Uh, and so you got to love looking at it. So find whatever you love to look at and model that. So finally into Rhino, I just want to give you a, a quick tour of where the model is right now, which is just at the, the very beginning steps. And like I was saying earlier, you know, I, I started modeling this and then I realized that, that the process was so much more interesting than the click through, right? And so I said, you know, I, I, I got a little, quite a bit farther than this. And then I said, no, 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 wait a minute. I'm going to back this whole thing up. I'm going to completely take this thing back to square one. I don't want to get too far down the road and then sort of go like, oh yeah, for here I just did, yeah. Um, I'd rather make this much more about, about the process. I'm repeating myself. Anyway. So all my green curves here, you know, I brought in some reference drawings and, and and just made some nice, smooth, single span curves for all of my major surfacing, right? Uh, you know, here's a line for the deck and I extruded it. So there's the deck right there. Of course, you know, everything's on a center line. So we're only building half the car. 
you know, so we've got a nice big slab side here. Let me turn the points on, right? This is just a plane. And, and then we traced some curves here, some very nice simple curves for the shape of our wheel arch cut, and we extruded that. So everything right now, like we made this curve right here, it's tangent to this curve, and we extruded it. So everything right now where this stands is pretty much just an extrusion. Uh, I've made this reference curve here. This is sort of where I think the, um, the, the, the cabin, the top of this, meets the top. And it's a little bit fuzzy, right? Because we've got a blend that we're eventually going to put in. And so we're not really sure where we want to end up with the blend just yet. But I've got this really nice simple object, right? This is just a degree three extrusion. Degree three in this way and one in this way. So everything is a single span degree five or less curve at this point. And these are all just extrusions, right? We've got a blend here, a blend curve here between this curve and this front curve right here. And then this is just extruded up until it hits this, right? And like I said here, you know, we're going to end up blending down this edge. And we're going to end up blending down this edge. And this just carries across here. Right? This just this just and so like I said, this is one gigantic ball corner where this whole thing is just trimmed back on a trimmed edge right here. Easy. We've done those, right? And this right here, right? This is going to end up being a Y blend. Blended here, blended here. They're going to meet at a point right here. So I don't want to get much farther than this for the first episode. I think this is a good place to stop. But you can see already, we're already getting so much of our shapes in with such simple surfaces, right? Here's just another, this is just a degree four curve right here that I extruded. Degree three, actually. Yep, just an extrusion, right? This right here, remember I called out that we've got a little bit of a taper in top view right here. So this is just an extrusion too. This is just a straight up extrusion of this curve here. So we can come in right here. All, right? All this stuff is really, really simple and loose. We're keeping it really basic, really low point count so that we, we can keep our quality high in the end, but we can also keep it very, very editable. All right, I think this is a great place to stop for episode one. Uh, I hope you enjoy this series as much as I've, I'm going to enjoy working on it. Uh, yeah, I'll see you in episode two.